ACL is a very important stabilizer of the knee in the anteroposterior direction. And so it's in the center of the knee, and this is the ACL. And so this is a ligamentous structure responsible for not only anteroposterior stability, but also for rotational stability of that specific knee joint. So ACL injuries are essentially sports related injuries and they're related to pivoting sports. So every sporter or athlete that is confronted with especially pivoting maneuvers will have higher chances to rupture his or her ACL. So a typical athletes presenting with an ACL injury will have a very specific story. Most of them will tell you that they felt or heard a pop, a sudden swelling while doing this pivoting maneuver. And so they're unable to go back to the sports. They can't play sports because they have an instability sensation and they have a swelling after the injury. Typically, for, to diagnose an ACL injury, we need to listen to the story. The patient will tell us that he or she felt a pop while doing a pivoting maneuver. That is basically very typical for an ACL injury. The MRI can help us diagnose either meniscus tears, cartilage tears, or additional damage to other structures in the knee. So the typical athlete that has a higher risk for an ACL injury is the athlete that is involved in pivoting sports. Soccer, football, basketball, those are very typical sports to be associated with an ACL injury. The options for ACL injury both include conservative and surgical care. However, in most of these athletes that want to return to pivoting sports, we advise them to get their ACL fixed. ACL reconstruction is actually a surgery where we use tendons to repair and reconstruct the ACL structure inside the knee. For that, we can use hamstring tendons, patellar tendons, or quad tendons. All of these tendons have specific advantages and disadvantages. And we will inform the patient and pick the correct and best tendon for that specific reconstruction in his or her knee. So ACL reconstruction actually wants you to repair the ACL and its function. In order to do that, we want to have a tendon to substitute the lost tissue inside the knee, and these tendons might be the hamstring tendon, the quad tendon, or the patellar tendon. All of these specific tendons have advantages and disadvantages, and together with the patient, we will discuss the correct option. However, many of these patients want to go back to pivoting sports, and in order to have that stability in pivoting maneuver, we very often associate a reconstruction on the lateral side, which is called the monoloop of the lateral tenodesis. So uh, ACL rehab and return to play is essential for athletes. And of course, they want to return as quickly as possible after their injury back to their sports. However, we now know that this takes time. Very often, a period from six to nine months is necessary to get that player back to the field and back to the pitch. This will also depend on any uh, additional injuries within the knee and also on his or her healing potential. Some patients heal faster than others and we need to really take that into account before we let them get back to their own sports. There is, based on the literature and based on our own experience, there's definitely uh, factors that we can uh, improve to decrease the risk for ACL injury. We now know that the FIFA 11 program clearly has shown that you can reduce the incidence of ACL injuries based on a very specific training program to uh, decrease um, the, the incidence of ACL. At Aspetar, uh, we have a very good team approach for these athletes. Not only the diagnosis, including the sports medicine, and the imaging is very important, also the surgery, and of course the rehab is very specific. And we try to uh, uh, address that pathology and that specific athlete with his or her specific problems, we try to address that as a very holistic 
uh, patient-specific approach. Coming to Aspetar is visiting surgeon allows you to expand your horizon. The area and the region has, uh, has specific uh, pathologies that you don't know until you've been here. I mean, the group approach and the fact that you work intensively together with sports medicine uh, guys, with the MRI department and with, with rehab, really makes you a better surgeon. And that group approach is, I think, essential for the success and the, the overall expertise that is overwhelmingly present here in Aspetar.